story number 209 of Our Told Tales. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Theo from Hebersham. Household Tales by Jacob and Willem Grimm. Translated by Margaret Hunt. Legend 9. The Heavenly Wedding. A poor peasant boy one day heard the priest say in the church that whosoever desired to enter into the kingdom of heaven must always go straight onward. So he set out and walked continually straight onwards over hill and valley without ever turning aside. At length his way led him into a great town and into the midst of a church where just at that time God's service was being performed. Now when he beheld all the magnificence of this, he thought he had reached heaven, sat down and rejoiced with his whole heart. When the service was over and the clerk bade him go out, he replied, No, I will not go out again. I am glad to be in heaven at last. So the clerk went to the priest and told him that there was a child in the church who would not go out again because he believed he was in heaven. The priest said, if he believes that, we will leave him inside. So he went to him and asked if he had any inclination to work. Yes, the little fellow replied, I am accustomed to work, but I will not go out of heaven again. So he stayed in the church when he saw how the people came and knelt and prayed to Our Lady with the blessed child Jesus, which was carved in wood. He thought, That is the good God, and said, Dear God, how thin you are. The people must certainly let you starve. But every day I will give you half my dinner. From this time forth, he every day took half his dinner to the image. And the image began to enjoy the food. When a few weeks have gone by, people remarked that the image was growing larger and stout and strong and wondered much. The priest also could not understand it but stayed in the church and followed the little boy about and then he saw how he shared his food with the Virgin Mary and how she accepted it. After some time, the boy became ill and for eight days could not leave his bed. But as soon as he could get up again, the first thing he did was to take his food to Our Lady. The priest followed him and heard him say, Dear God, do not take it amiss that I have not brought you anything for such a long time, for I have been ill and could not get up. Then the image answered him and said, I have seen thy good will, and that is enough for me. Next Sunday thou shalt go with me to the wedding. The boy rejoiced at this and repeated it to the priest. He begged him to go and ask the image if he too might be permitted to go. No, answered the image, thou alone. The priest wished to prepare him first and give him the Holy Communion and the child was willing. Next Sunday, when the host came to him, he fell down and died and was at the eternal wedding. End of story number 209Story number 210 of Household Tales. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Theo from Hebersham. Household Tales by Jacob and Willem Grimm. Translated by Margaret Hunt. Legend 10. The Hazel Branch. One afternoon the Christ child had laid himself in his cradle bed and had fallen asleep. Then his mother came to him, looked at him full of gladness, and said, Hast thou laid thyself down to sleep, my child? Sleep sweetly, and in the meantime I will go into the wood and fetch thee a handful of strawberries, for I know that thou wilt be pleased with them when thou awakest. In the wood outside she found a spot with the most beautiful strawberries. But as she was stooping down to gather one, an adder 
sprang up out of the grass. She was alarmed, left the strawberries where they were, and hastened away. The adder darted after her, but our lady, as you can readily understand, knew what it was best to do. She hid herself behind a hazel bush, and stood there until the adder had crept away again. Then she gathered the strawberries, and as she set out on her way home, she said, As the hazel bush has been my protection this time, it shall in future protect others also. Therefore, from the most remote times, a green hazel branch has been the safest protection against adders, snakes, and everything else which creeps on the earth. End of story number 210 End of Household Tales by Jacob and Willem Grimm Translated by Margaret Hunt